channel so uh, I did not show you guys how to actually set in my industrial machine up so let me just tell you this this machine is so heavy my doggy this machine is so heavy so you really need to prepare for it and just take the whole day to just set it up um, one thing about this Bender I used it does not come with the manual book that was the only thing that was a little irritating because you know all app appliances have a manual book an operations manual and a, just how to set it up so the easiest part about all of this was the table part <laughs> and that was heavy as well so just make sure you are taking your time and I was in constant contact with my vendor um, that was the most frustrating part, honestly, was putting together a machine with no operations manual. I'm kind of thinking about creating my, my own little manual. And maybe you guys would like something like that because I know I needed something just to follow, especially um, learning the differences with sewing machines. When I tell you this machine, like setting up this machine is no joke. I made sure I knew I was not going to start taking orders until I practiced on this machine. And I was not going to st um, launch my business like officially until I had this machine down packed. And this is a beast, you hear me? And I live on a sec the second floor of an apartment complex and Luckily, thank God, I had a, um, like a cart. So y'all just take your time, just be, have fun with it. And you're going to have to just do it, get through it. It's worth it in the end. And don't mind me, just know, baby, I was tired. Okay. I had, to, I put my braids in the back and I was, I was ready to go. And make sure oh i did i use a power, i did use a power drill i had to rent a power drill from i want to say it was lowe's i went to lowe's to rent a power tool because you're going to need it for the placement on the table now this this was a, well now that wasn't really too hard i'm not gonna lie to you that wasn't too hard what was hard is the motor part this right here not that sorry but I'm going to be showing you guys the motor that I had to install, the belt, the wheel. That was really kicking my ass. I, I just couldn't get it going because every, that motor, the belt, and the wheel, it all has to be in unison. It has to be tight. So that was challenging, but I was able to get it. And this is a really nice machine. She's a beauty, even though I know um, some people had problems. I, d I don't use that, um, that wheel at the bottom. I don't use that anymore. I use my sewing machine to thread my bobbins. But this is pretty much it, you guys. I wish I had something more thorough. I actually have more videos on the type of thread you should use with the industrial machine. And I also have videos on what to do if you're getting a bird's nest on your material and just any other needle problems, the type of needles you should use. But you, yeah, you see like that motor, it was just kicking my ass. You have to, that, that had me sweating. I'm not gonna lie to you. It had me sweating and I had to really get it, get it right. Because if the motor is not installed correctly, you're not going to be able to sew correctly. And then I was getting an error message. It was just going crazy. You hear me? But I was able to get it. I got it though. And it's so exciting when you finally get it, right? So I'm just testing out the speed and seeing um, how fast I want to stitch. Right now, I stitch at what, 300 to 400? And once you put your bobbin in, it's always, you put it in the thread left to right. And right now I just practice using paper, just trying to see what the stitches look like, what 
where the tension is you're testing all this out before you're actually sewing on the material but this was it you guys if you have any questions please let me know don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching thank you for supporting <laughs> Yeah, we came a long way, girl. We've come a long way, but you guys, thank y'all for watching. Bye.